This video is a mix of guiding and commentary on a PvP match I did. It's just to like give my thoughts on front lines and how you might do better and not just be dead weight just because I don't care who wins or loses. Just to try and get people thinking more about it and just trying, even if it's just not putting all your effort in, give it give it a try. Which is I'm I'm trying to do this video. This is also a test of new editing software, so hopefully that goes well, and I'll see you for the ninja video. Alright, so this is going to be a bit of a different video. This one, I'm going to be going over a single run of Frontlines that I did that I was extremely happy with, that I'm, I want to try and get people to think more about front lines when they're doing it because people go in and say like oh I'm just here to win or lose I don't care and it's like it's unfair to everyone you're playing with if you're not trying at all because some people just do not try they just go around other people just do not understand front lines to begin with and it's something I've seen a bunch of and just figured, you know, give my take on front lines. This is going to be sort of a guide about what I've been doing and showing off how I react to different things and my attempts to lead groups and all that. This is Onsal Hakir, or Hakir? I'm not how you just... whatever. Uh, and so this, this, the goal of this one is to go around, go to Ovos that spawn, click them to capture them, and then get out. It's just capture the point and then you're done. You don't have to protect point. It's not king of the hill. It's not any of the other modes. This one is purely get the point and then you're done. You can leave it, al you can leave it alone. So this is the most objective based of all the front lines. But I want to also stress this before we get in. Kills are not the important part of front lines. The only one where I would say kills are the big important part is cart no flats, borderland ruins, because there's very little actual uh, fighting for objectives. Like that's where the fights take place when taking the little bases on the outside and some skirmishes in the middle for the robots. But even then. Objectives are what make the game. If you dominate middle, you're mostly going to dominate the entire game. But again, that one kind of leans a lot more towards kills. But Frontlines in general is about these objectives not killing. Kills for are for a purpose, not for kills themselves. You don't kill just to kill. There's going to be exceptions where it's like, I see this guy out in the middle of the field, they're in a bad position, it's a free kill, go for it. But if you have to chase them halfway across the area just for a kill, if you're putting yourself in needless danger for a kill, don't do it. But let's, let's go through this and talk more about it in a moment. Alright, so I have my map open in the top right at the very beginning of every match just to see where all the nodes are. So we got a lot in the Maelstrom side, none in Adders. So I go over here to see if Adders is just rushing mid. It looks like a bunch of them are going to the bridge, so I defect to mid. And so mid, I call mid a honeypot because watch what happens. Things are going to get very messy very quickly with this mid. I go mid just to bait out a little bit. And then all of Addis starts pouring in. They got about the same number of people as we do. Then Maelstrom's starting to come in behind the map. You can't really see them, but now you can start seeing them appear on the map. There's two Maelstrom. The Ovo's there. I go out just to bait some damage. Because I, I know how to do... Let me let me pause it there. So you're going to see me do a lot of tactics like that. Where If you could see my health down here, barely, that it's uh, 5,300. Okay, so 5,300 health. Uh... I took a lot of damage there, but you see that I have medical kits on my bar because I play a very dangerous game that you probably shouldn't try to emulate because that is... You could also see one of my healers ended up dead. I don't know where they went. If they were in mid and got super focused down, the other healer's weak and they have to try and save themselves. 
basically, I took a huge risk there because I had no backup. Do not try to emulate that. I make some very stupid plays that usually work out. They usually work out just because I'm... I've done a lot of front lines. I can usually figure out how much people are going to focus someone out of line. And it's usually not too bad. I do sometimes get myself killed doing that. But don't try to emulate that. That's just generally a bad idea. So I fall and I figure, okay, middle is lost. So I'm going to call in chat because you could see all of Maelstrom's there too. You could see Maelstrom's all in the middle. Ad is all piling in the middle, and that's the only node left. So I back up and start talking in chat. Get out of mid, get out of mid. Everyone out of mid. You could hear the sound effect. That was me popping a sound effect to say, hey, go to this flag. Because now I'm saying go here because square ones are worth a lot of points. And male had three nodes down here. So basically we want to focus on male to start. They're our big competition because Addis had a really bad start. And so everyone basically spread out to get individual nodes while Addis and male are... Yeah, let me pause it. So Addis and male are middle. Both teams are middle. So basically all of this is technically our territory. So from like here down to here is our territory. Here to here is... Maelstrom territory and here to here is Adder territory. So this is Adder and Male or Flame shared territory. This is Male and Flame shared territory. Both of those seem super safe, especially this one because it's worth more points, because everyone is middle. A big thing with front lines is not total situational awareness and more of just look at where all the triangles are or where the, all the dots are. Is all of your team over here fighting with a billion other triangles that are yellow and red? It's probably safe to be down here all alone. It's probably safe to be up here all alone. Granted, I don't know what actually is going on up here. So there could be actually people in danger and fighting. But given that it turned blue, meaning it's going to be captured at any moment, it's uh probably safe up there. What less important is total situational awareness and more just know how the whole field of looking is looking just in number of dots. Do you see a lot of dots? If you see a lot of dots, you know where everyone isn't. Because I see a lot of dots middle, everywhere else is free game. So all of these for us are free game. So us abandoning middle gets us four, four nodes. There's two of them. There's three. And then there's four. All those, all because everyone went to the honey pot. I shouted for everyone to abandon middle. I don't know, I can't say for sure how much everyone was listening to my leading. And I had it blocked just because private chat's also going during that time. So I can't say how much everyone was actively listening to me and my pings. But the fact that we did all globally leave mid got us four free nodes. Well, those two fought it out and potentially we're gaining nothing. All just for it to end up going to mail at the very end of it. And then they're starting to push into Ada territory, meaning their territory is kind of free at the moment so that little guy we pr maybe this guy's oh wait no that was one of our guys never mind so now we're just waiting for nodes to change we don't so again i want to stress this again kills are not important really most of us let me just go back notice where all of us are where re some of us are retreating from over here but generally we got a few people here fighting adders when they could leave. They could very easily leave. But most of us are right here near the middle, but not actively really going at people because there's no nodes to get. Kills are not going to really get us anywhere unless we're picking off stragglers here or there. And there are no real stragglers anywhere, except for like maybe these two adders. And then we got the next round of nodes. 
So we could get that one. We can get the bridge. We could go down here for these and the... Ma the there's, these are all dangerous because that is kind of added territory, but people rush it. So that pretty much ends up being ours. And then I move the screen. Maelstrom is still a little bit ahead. And then they got really good spawns. So now I'm here just trying to call out things to people of like, hey, do this, do that. Watch out, Mail has a lead. We're gonna have to focus Nail. And so we come up here in the Mail just to quick grab this node. The one node just because they're all over here. We got some people distracting them. Most everyone is up here, so our little contingent that came down here took a huge risk. And then you got people chasing that guy. That was a bad idea. And then, just as I'm about to get it, everyone comes in. Those people, maybe we could have gotten the node if, instead of chasing that guy over on the left here, maybe we would have been fine if they just delayed a little bit to get that node. But then I leave, I'm spamming potions. They don't, they are chasing me. But they chase me so far into our territory, they end up swapping targets to them who nearly died. Okay, so now we're... The situation has changed. The situation has changed again. Maelstrom, big lead. But we got a node right here near, towards the middle and one on the outside in more the shared territory. And some free game here in Adders that, for some reason, one or two Adders decide to just push really far in. So again, this is a kill you want. This is kill. This is a free kill. They're by themselves deep in your territory. Take it. Don't chase into enemy territory just for a kill. That's why we lost that node when we basically almost had it. But now we're all just scented here. Taking a unified front. I'm saying we're losing. We're gonna lose to mail. We have to push a unified front. So now we have to more push mail. So most of us end up coming down here while the other half stay up here and fight mail. We push them back because they didn't have many people. And then this is where the game's start, gonna start getting interesting. Mail's been pushed back. Once again, we got these two nodes. Now we can start pushing north. Adder's already got it, so we could just grab this one. So we can all just run here, push a unified front, and just take it. And I advise, don't get mid. Mid's probably a bad idea. We're, we're gonna we're gonna feed if we go mid just because you could see there's a bunch of adders. Look how big a group there is. There's all the mail. Middle is once again probably just a honeypot. Oh look, another node in our territory. Take that node. But I start running to mid to like, hey, let's see if I can try and help people escape. This looks like a pretty pretty adders one situation. They're all piling in mid. Hey, let's get out, let's get out. Because we have, like, a very... Look at how many people are back here. And how many people we actually have in mid compared to the number of adders. But somehow, they... they We turned the tide against them because I guess adders were super focused on Maelstrom. Because 123 versus 566. We turned the tide somehow, so I say, Oh, never mind, push mid when I start running away. Or when I start running away, I'm like, okay, fine, push mid. Good job. You somehow took it. I don't know how. Adders really should have been just all here. But, hey, free Ovu. So we ended up somehow taking mid, despite it being generally a honeypot. I don't know why I LB'd there. It got me battle high three. Which I want to notice. Remember, I started this saying, don't fight, don't worry about kills. I have 64 points of battle high, all while saying that. We'll get- we'll- we'll further explore that more at the end. But, I see our team pushing into there, so I say, hey, get back, get back, come back. Don't push, don't push. Worry about objectives. And, look at that, there comes Maelstrom to try and punish them, and then this appeared. I say everyone to go there, because that one's super important. I stay here because easier to protect, it's more in our territory, but there are a few stragglers, so I figure, I also want Obu points because achievement, but generally, it's good to keep a small, tiny contingent here, but eventually I see 
okay, there's nobody coming. You can all go, but people stay anyway just to, like... I don't know if they're also trying to get points. So I leave. But then I come back like, oh, wait, no. People might be... Oh, wait, no, if that's what happened was... I get on to be like, okay, I'm gonna go protect this one. But then it got captured. We got it. So then I immediately come back to here like, okay, no, never mind. So that is a bit of actual, like... Hey, you don't need situational awareness entirely. You just need to watch for the dots because... Let's go back a little bit. Through that whole thing of me just standing here... I'm worried about getting these two nodes. We put up a tiny little frontal offensive in case anyone comes through mid. Here's all the mail. All of Adder is down here. To, that's a triangle. Triangles are the worst node squares are worth more and then pentagons are worth the most so all adders is here there's a few male and adders in the middle but most everyone is all the way over here you can see all these triangles over here you can see one triangle battling our allies actual at the node that was important well everyone is just all the way over here you don't need complete situational awareness, you just need to see where the big grouping of triangles are, if there are any. And what do you know, giant grouping of triangles means free game for us. Here I don't remember what I was doing. I might have been like rallying the team because after that, look at the points. Hold on to me. That's a... You can barely see it in the top right, but mail is at 550. We're over at 1100 now. We have, we passed 1100 with that move alone. So I was probably rallying the team like, hey, good job, guys. We turned this around. We're doing really good. Keep pushing Maelstrom a little bit, but don't, don't chase. Which I go in here to be like, hey, guys, fall back, fall back. I try tried, I tried to go in and be like, hey, fall back. Just try and be a defensive measure. I don't know why I went that deep in. I didn't need to go that deep in just because Bard. But I figured like, hey, watch me go in and then watch me run away. You don't need to be this far in. Run away. That might have been what I was trying. Also, through that whole thing, you probably missed it. While well, I was talking about all that, in the middle, our team rushed mid and immediately took one of these. Like, I guess because our little bit of an offensive was distracting Maelstrom, Adis is still over here for some reason, I don't know why. But that gave us a free middle as well. But so now I'm trying to direct people like, okay, we're at the back half of the game. I need to focus our direction. We need to definitely just focus specific things. So I put the flag here like, hey, this one's free. Let's go grab it. We need to get that. Go, go, go. Just everyone stick together. Then I noticed that there were people in the middle. So I decided like, let's go try and help. Then I noticed that there's four of them. So I run away. Because I'm not doing a 1v4. That's just a bad idea. So I, you, you saw me stop here for a moment. Watch this again. I stop here for a moment just to say, Adiz is pushing us. Watch out. Watch our flank. And then here comes all the Adiz here as well. So they're pushing us on the side. They're pushing us from the front. We're being... So I'm... You could hear me chat twice there, one to say Adders is pushing us on the side and one that we need to get back to the flag in our base. Because, I mean, it's deep in our base. We need this one. We don't need to fight the male, the Adders. We have a huge lead. Don't bother fighting them. Take the point. Take the free point. That's what matters. We're so close to victory, we just need a couple more of these. And you saw we actually went below 1300 just because Adiz overflowed the people who were staying there. That was a bad idea. 
don't stay because you're going to get overwhelmed eventually. You have to pre present a unified front. Don't spread out unless everyone else is spread out. If adders were all spread out, it would have been fine, but they were all basically here. And now some are here in our base, some are over fighting Maelstrom in their territory for some reason. Don't know what Mael's doing, but... So we got enemies here, enemies here, and a bunch of enemies down here at the node that I directed everyone to go to. Which, with a unified front, if everyone in our team is here, this is nothing. If 24 against this is nothing. This up here, this is enough for me to know. We got this if everyone comes down here. What few people are staying behind fighting the adders will be fine. It's ba It would basically be even, and we're doing a lot of damage. We're doing, we're doing pretty good. So, okay, so I got Battle High 4 there with a kill somehow. But now the Ovo is here. You saw that I was fighting, but I back up here to go get the Ovu because this is actually a, a, an attempt at a strategy that tends not to be really needed, but sometimes it's worth it because I'm being targeted a lot. I see this. What if I go back up to the Ovu and just be bait so that these two can actually get the Ovu? They stop attacking me and I end up getting the Ovu myself. Don't know how, but it worked out like that. So it was actually a good idea for me to do that because I, I think the Reaper actually hit the other two that were trying to get the Uvu. So me backing up was a good call because also what's going to happen here is Maelstrom's no longer up here. They're all respawning because they got killed by Adders. Now they're going to start funneling in and they're going to completely roll us. So I'm going to type in chat right now, leave, Maelstrom's going to murder us, leave. And we're at 1,400 points. We have more than double the Maelstrom, almost. More than double. We're, we're super far ahead. This is where the entire match is going to take a turn, because rather than super focusing on kills, we focused objectives. So I'm going to just pot shot here and there while trying to get everyone to flee. I hit Bolt to just get out of the way. And then I flee, and what few people stay behind, they're gonna die. So I'm going to just type in chat, hey, we need to fall back. Everyone get here. Everyone fall back to our base. And there was a ping in the chat to, hey, fall back. So I'm gonna spam in chat, go here, go here. We need to get this unified front, unified front. We have to all stick together, take one note at a time. We're going to push Adders back, get a bunch of kills there, just to get rid of them, get them out of our base while we go to there. But then also Maelstrom's coming in. They're starting to pincher us. Because we're not a unified front, because a bunch of people were dead from this encounter in the south still. So as people were getting killed from Maelstrom, they started respawning. But a lot of people were still dead. So while most of our people are here pushing back Adders, getting ready to push back Mail. We're still behind a good number of people, so now Adders are fighting us, Maelstrom is fighting us, and now we're being pinchered for the entire rest of the match. This enti The entire rest of the match is going to be combat. We are not going to get any real pushes for objectives for the entire rest of the time. Remember that. We got more than double, we got to double the of Maelstrom after they had an early lead of like 300 points just from focusing objectives that hey everyone's off fighting in the corners of the map take all these easy stuff take all the easy stuff I don't know I I also don't know how I got this summoner there was a healer right around there or did they did they leave that's oh it was a black mage yes yeah, somehow they went in without any healers anywhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing any healers anywhere. There's a red mage. Maybe one of them is a healer. Maybe the Cactar is a healer. But they just ran in and gave me free battle high five. And I, I took theirs. So that was actually a good number of points for us in that kill. Because they were just so focused on killing. That's the thing. That's the big thing with that I want to focus on now with... 
Again, we, this is going to be all about killing basically for the rest of the match. This summoner had battle high five. They do more damage and they get healed for more. They ran so far into our territory, so focused on killing us, that they ended up getting themselves killed and getting us a lot of points. Well, not a lot of points, so... I'm gonna try and watch the Maelstrom. Three, 748. 748. Yeah, that was only worth 8 points. I killed someone for with Battle High. It gave us 8 points. 8. It's, it's not important. Kills are not important, especially in this thing. You cannot focus on kills. You kill for a purpose. We're trying to defend ourselves. We're trying to push everyone back. So I'm killing people specifically just so that we can actually get out and do anything. But that's what all of us are doing because the only other point out there is in Maelstrom's side. So the only thing we can do is fight Adders and Mail because both teams pushed into our territory. And that was me pushing a little bit too far so that they saw me out there with my battle high five, less than max health. Some people are starting to die. This samurai tries and just super bursts me down. They nearly paid for it. But now Adders is super deep in our territory. We can't go anywhere. I'm saying in chat again, just stick together. Just stick together. Fall back. Don't push. Don't push. We have to stay together. Don't push. I put the flag there and put it in chat. Go here. Make sure we get this. Fall back to there the moment Adders leave. The moment Adders leave, fall back. Kill and then leave. So that's my... It's getting close to being filled. So I'm falling back. Saying in chat more. Fall back. We can't fight. We can't fight. We can't fight. Again, I don't know how much people are actively listening to my callouts, but I am attempting to call out, guys, we have to listen. We have to go. We have to go. Because the, what I have seen is some leader is better than no leader. A bad leader is better than no leader on average. On average. Just because I've had people say, focus on kills, not objectives. Meanwhile, an objective is worth a lot. Okay, so I see those guys there. Do I help them? Do I help them? Do I help with the adders? So I decide to go kill this guy because I saw more mail in the background coming in. I thought they were going to go help the bard. They didn't. So I just stay with them and try and push these mail back. So we could push a more unified front against the adders. Because all the adders are here. We got them, got some free points. Got some free battle high. Now we have to just all go fight adders because, again, look how far the adders are. We're at our base. We are at our base. We have nowhere to go. We have not left our base this entire time since I said the rest of the fight. And look at that. We're at 1,500 from that one objective. We got like 100 points. Middle is going to be contested. Middle. I say to my team, don't go middle, I think. I'm pretty sure. We all go to here because it's an easy one to get. Nobody's here. It's free. And everyone's starting to go fight over middle for some reason. Maelstrom's all there. Why is there so many people in uh, mid? I don't know. So I just, like, try and put a unified front here while everyone is here at this one, at this point. If any adders come in, they got this. So I decided, help mid, anyone who decides to sneak in, which there was a few people in a three-way fight, get a couple kills, try and d uh, lower their numbers for if they do push from mid, that we have less we have to worry about, which they do start to push from mid. So I flee to my group that was all together, and then here comes Adders and Maelstrom, both trying to push us at the same time. It's not a big Maelstrom force, but we have to flee once again because we're being pushed. That we have to run. We have to go. They are pushing that hard on us. But again, we got this objective up top. So we were getting points and won. So... I want to look at this again. I emphasize at the very beginning, don't worry about kills. This is not about killing. 
I still got 12 kills and 22 assists and did over 200,000 damage. And I took a bit of an amount, a lot of damage because, again, I play very, very, uh, scarily. But I want, okay, so we're, we're at the 1330 minute mark. Uh, where, it was about the nine minute mark, I believe. Yeah, this is 10. Yeah, okay, so this is 930. This was the last time we really went fighting for a node. So from 930 until 13 minutes in. So over three minutes of just fighting for our lives, fighting against both teams, focusing us down. Maelstrom did catch up a lot. Or t Twin Adders still didn't even get halfway. All of that, and we still won because we focused objectives and got a huge lead because of it. And I'm going to go through all the different stats and all that just to see. Kills. Again, I said don't fight. You saw the ninja towards the end of the match that has uh, the 17 kills. You saw them towards the end there that I was fighting over... Over at the ramp, there was the ninja with Battle High 5. I guess that was them, HV. I don't know who they are or anything, but... They had 17 kills, a death, and 30 assists, and did twice the damage I did. But only 5 more kills and 8 more assists. Twice the damage, but not twice the actual kills and assists. So they did a lot more damage, but where that damage actually went was a lot less important damage taken they also took a lot more they also had a death makes sense but I was basically tied for second place if you count the death as like super big against them I was the second highest contribution to fighting and again I don't go out of my way to fight I fight when the fights come to me mostly and I need to defend a point or I'm fighting for a point I'm not going out of my way to just go far to kill, except at the end portion there where we had to fight. All of our numbers are super higher because we kept getting pushed for like th four minutes of the match. Four minutes of the match, we were being pushed and not focusing on, on objectives, and I had 12-22, and we had such a huge lead. Again, I want to focus that. Deaths. I had none, yeah. Very few people didn't have a death. Assists, I had a genuinely high number, but most people had a lot more. There's a lot of people, oop. Spoilers. Damage dealt. I'm not even in the top 10. I'm not, I'm not even close to the top. There's Black Mage, eight kills only, despite, and only four more assists than me. Despite having nearly three times the amount of damage, they also died twice. So they did the most damage, were on the losing team. But, you know, kills matter more, right? Damage taken. I'm in actually in the least somehow. I don't know how I was in like the top 10 for damage taken. But hey, you know. But again, 17, 12, 12, I wasn't going for fighting. Now this, I'm, I'm going to hover on this for the rest of the video, basically. Tactical points earned from Uvu claims. 1160. Maelstrom have 1144. Basically, their entire score is Uvu claims. Adders, 750. 742 points at the end of the match. Basically, their entire rating is is from Uvu, but notice they have more Uvu points than their actual final scores because if you look at their enemy kills, yeah sure, 664, 608, they lost points from going for kills. Going for kills actually lost both teams points, while us being pinchered by two groups of teams, we gained just, just a little bit of points from kills. We got a lot of good kills at the end there, and yet, 1,542 points of our score was Uvu. Kills are not worth points 
in front line. They are not for points. Kills do not win games. Objectives do. The order of operations is go for objectives. Is an objective being uh, contested? Kill to obtain the objective. Battle high you get from getting kills, which you only kill if you're going for an objective. One, t one run of Seal Rock, I had someone adamantly fight me that kills are important. You need to focus on kills. Kill, kill, kill. They, they made fun of me the entire run about how I'm an idiot for saying kills aren't important. Well, kills aren't important in here. And in that Seal Rock, we were last place. We had less than half the points we needed to win. Do you want to know who won? Maelstrom. Do you know why they won? Because they focused on objectives and didn't fight basically anyone for the entire second half of the match. While Adders and our team fought, Maelstrom was off collecting points. All from doing objectives. At one point, they actually had like a 300 point lead, but fought our team for a good like two minutes straight and lost that lead immediately because they focused on fighting. But then after that gigantic loss of like a 200, 300 point lead, they stopped, regrouped, whoever was leading them said, we can't do that again. We have to target points. We have to go to the objectives. And you know what they did? They went for objectives and won with another 300 or 400 point lead on the second place team. That is the state of front lines. This is not about killing, it's about objectives. I know it's a PvP mode, I know that the fighting can be fun, but the fighting is a means to an end. I'm not saying avoid all combat, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you fight for objectives, not just for fighting. Our objective at the end there was fighting because we had no other option. Both teams were walled us in. We were completely walled in. Sure, you could have, we could have all went here down this southern route south of our base, gone into the Maelstrom base, but they would have followed. Adders probably would have followed us from the north and pinched us in. Maelstrom would have came in from the north, pinched us in, and from their base, and we would have just had a complete team wipe. Instead, we stayed in our base for the most part, and took what few nodes the game gave us. It wasn't about fighting, it was about defense. Our goal wasn't to fight, our goal was to survive. Because we had a lead and just a few more nodes. I think all we got was two more nodes after that middle point. After that 930 mark, I'm pretty sure we only got two more nodes for the entire rest of the match. Maybe it was three, I don't know. I'll go back, watch the footage again. And we won. We didn't fight just because we're fighting. We fought to defend ourselves and we got very few points for it. 60 points basically was what our fighting got us. 60. Kills are not important. Stop going for kills in frontline. Go for kills if it's a freebie, if it's some random person out in the middle of the field. If it's some random person out in the middle of the field, go for it. If it's just this, if it's this, you don't fight, you defend. This is not fighting, this is defense. There is a big, big, big difference. Stop going for kills. Kills are not important. Battle high does not win games. Objectives do. Objectives get you kills, which gets you battle high. That is what wins you games. Playing it safe and playing the objectives. Sometimes you do have to play a dangerous objective, but you're playing it for the objective, not for the kills. Kills become a last ditch effort to stop a runaway team. Adders and Maelstrom started killing us, not as a means to get points, but as a means to get us to stop winning. 
and look where it got them. They still lost big time. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I hope this helped you understand Frontlines a little bit more. It's a bit all over the place just because, you know, Frontlines and, you know, PvP and blah, 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 blah. It was a lot of me just narrating, but I wanted to really focus in on what I was doing at all points and me trying to lead of, hey, this is not about killing. All that good stuff. Anyway, take care. May the power of Nidhogs like waste your enemies. And I hope you're looking forward to the new PvP mode, which is a lot smaller scale. Good night.